welcome to my project on using a joystick with the Raspberry Pi and Python. So in this project, uh, I'm trying to uh, kind of combine several concepts from previous projects and uh, incorporate the joystick just to, uh, just to mess around a little bit and make sure uh, I understand how, how it works and how to program it. Um, so in this project, I'm um, just going to use the joystick to move around and as you push it forward or up or down, left or right, it'll light different LEDs depending on which way you push it. And then there's also an LED connected to the switch, which you push uh, directly onto the joystick, and that's going to turn on and off an LED. So here's the circuit, um, Raspberry Pi, extension board, and then here's the analog to digital converter I'll be using for this uh, project. And uh, you can see here's the joystick and very important that, that uh, you have two potentiometers in the joystick so they need to be read uh, through the analog to digital converter since the Raspberry Pi doesn't have one. Um, then there's also uh, power and a ground and there's a switch. So the switch will be connected to one of the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. And then you can see the kind of mess that occurs when you try to put five uh, LEDs on a breadboard. Um, so, but they're kind of in a cross pattern. And as I push this joystick up, it'll light the yellow one. As I pull it back, it'll, it'll light this lower yellow one. And then left and right, it'll light either the, of the two blue ones. And you can see the current limiting resistors. And as you hook this up, you're going to have to be very careful because it's easy to get kind of confused as to which resistor belongs to which LED. So you have to take your time and, and carefully look at it uh, to make sure you've grounded everything, that you have your resistors correctly, and that your connections back to the GPIO pins to control the LEDs um, all are connected the way you hope. And I just thought I'd show a quick picture of what my circuit actually looked like. And uh, here's my little joystick down here. And uh, I kind of uh, wired it <laughs> directly to my little setup for, for uh, experimenting just so it wouldn't move around so much. So I found that kind of helpful as well. So next we'll talk about the code and uh, show a demo how this works. So the first thing we'll do in the code is um, bring in the modules uh, for uh, the Python program. So we'll need RPI, GPIO, uh, the time, the sleep function from time, and use the SMBus library uh, to communicate with our analog to digital converter. Um, so just some code to do that communication. There are actually eight channels on the analog to digital converter. We're only going to use the first two. Um, and then a function to, to read uh, the values coming off of the analog to digital converter. Then we'll set up the board numbering system, BCM, for this project, and a variable for a short delay time. We'll start the SMBus object, and then we'll set up the button pin and uh, use a pull-up resistor there. And then to keep track of uh, figuring out where the button has been pushed since the last time we went through the loop, we'll have a variable that tells us the state of the button on the previous loop, and uh, we'll also need to keep track of whether the LED is on or off currently uh, to decide whether to switch it on or to switch it off if the button has been pressed. Then we have five LEDs for the cross uh, that we discussed previously. So uh, the X uh, LEDs, the Y LEDs, and the one in the middle that we're going to control with the button. And then we just need to set those up as outputs. And I'm going to turn on the middle button from the start. So it'll start off on, and then if we press it, it'll turn off. And then here's our while true loop. So we're going to first read uh, the signal from the X and Y directions, those two potentiometers from our uh, analog to digital converter. And then to determine whether we need to light one of the LEDs, we'll just use some logic here. So if it's less than 25, um, we're going to turn on the one uh, to the lower side and make sure the upper one is off. And then if it's, uh, if we pushed it the other way, then, um, so if it's, it's greater than 230, then we're going to turn on uh, the other LED and make sure the one in the other direction is off. And then if it's not any of those, then we just want them both to be off. So that's kind of the logic that I use to, to make this work. And I did the same thing in the Y direction. And then next we just need to do some uh, coding to deal with the button. So we'll go ahead and read the state of the button. 
and then we'll compare it to what uh, the previous loop was. So that's why we have the button previous uh, variable. And so if the button previous is zero and the button current is one, that means that we uh, pushed and let go of the button and so it's time to, to either switch the LED on or off. And then this logic just checks to see is it on or off and switch the state of the LED. And then um, to make sure we uh, keep track of everything, we have to reset the button previous as we come here to the bottom of the loop. Uh, I print everything out just to kind of keep an eye on what's going on. And then we have our a short delay time. And we'll leave the program by doing a keyboard interrupt. So now let's see a demo. So here's my setup, and you can kind of take a look a little closer there. And there's all the LEDs ready to go. So let's go ahead and kick this off. And this is the printout that I programmed in. So you can see that the X and Y potentiometers are kind of right in the middle of 0 to 255, as they should be, and the current state of the button is a 1. So let's take a look at what happened, and you can see as we programmed it, uh, the middle light should come on, the red light, and if we press, we can turn it on and off. So that works pretty good. Let's try lighting uh, the yellow ones first, so I'll push up, and we can see the yellow one at the top goes on, and I'll push back, and I'll just show you how it looks on the printout. And come back. And then we'll do the blues. We'll go that way. And that way. And now you can have some fun going to the different corners. And you can twirl it around if you want. Like that. And turn the light on and off. So I had fun putting this together, and I thank you for watching.